So the point is, we're trying to let you guys know that there are some laws being changed in here in the state of Florida, some unfair, unjust laws, and it's gonna really ruin the way that we bring animals to you guys, and we wanna fight this. Because if we're quiet about it, they're just gonna keep pushing and pushing and pushing and take everything. Hey, what's going on, everyone? You might recognize some faces here. There's Chandler what's going hanging on? out. Sophia's hanging out. I don't know, Ruth's hanging out. Ruth works with Chandler. That's how, uh, that's the camera person behind the camera, yes. <laughs> but I got some crazy news, man. Uh, these guys are over. We're gonna be hanging out with them uh, in this video. But more importantly, we're talking about something that's actually hit very close to home for both of us. We'll get right into it, so check it out. And we're in here, there is uh, Princess Buttercup. She's actually inside of her uh, new enclosure. She's been loving this thing, by the way, Chan. Like, it's just... This enclosure is amazing. Thanks, dude. Like, Wait, it's... what for you? Uh, what's that? No, it's all right, bro. Hey, I, this is kind of how I do it. I'm low tech. But what I like to do is, I mean, now that she's in here, I like to just let her know she's not getting fed. So I just show her, hey, baby. We're just in here to hang out. So as long as I do that, we're cool. Um, this setup's amazing. This thanks. is like a legit zoo setup. Dude, I love it. I, I That means a lot. Like when uh, you think of uh, exhibits on display for big snakes, this is what you want to see. Like big platforms for yeah. them to move around, get, it, oh, That's get okay. exercise and whatnot. Yep. Got a big hide box, dude. Look at that hide box. Yeah, I kind of went crazy, this. man. Um, but I love it. Thank you. Yeah, it's that's part of the fun for me. You know what I mean? Like I love kind of building things and stuff. But um, the reason I want to do this video and the reason uh, we're together is uh, there's some serious news going on. Uh, some of you may have heard about the iguana ban and tegu ban here in Florida as of July 1st. Uh, those animals are now considered prohibitive species and they are now illegal to possess or own without a special permit. And you're only getting a permit if you have been grandfathered yeah. in. So that means uh, if you owned the animals before, this ruling went into effect. What it means is you have to apply for a permit, but there's a catch because you can only get that permit if you are a public facility, if the animals are on display, um, and if you are uh, you're basically a bona fide zoological institution. Um, now, here's why I'm kind of bummed out. Um, you know I work hard for my animals. I just built this thing. Chandra loves it, thank you. Um, but I've just found out um, for me to renew my license, my class three permit with conditional species, meaning my one snake, uh, I just found out that I am no longer eligible to keep Princess Buttercup. So what does that mean? Well, I've been on the phone uh, with the good people in Tallahassee and you know, the, the rules have just been written. Yeah, uh, it, it happened so fast, it happened you don't even so give us fast. a chance to react. Right, it's weird. That's, that's the worst part about it. It's crazy, so the rules have been written and there are certain things that they don't even understand themselves. Um, number one, I just want to say this, like I'm not making this video to bash Florida Fish and Wildlife. I've worked with Florida Fish and Wildlife. I've been a place where they have brought animals that are what were considered chain of custody, animals that were illegally imported through um, people that weren't doing the right thing uh, via the legalities of bringing animals into the state. I've held them. Some of them have been released to me because they know that I do good work here. Um, other animals have been then put forth to other zoological institutions. That's kind of my whole thing when I do, yeah. you know? Um, so what happened is uh, basically, no one at the commission, being that these rules are so new, no one really knows what to do. And so I have to now apply for a separate permit because the way they did this new prohibitive species is they actually took Burmese pythons, which were considered conditional, and they moved them in this new prohibitive species designation. Them, green anaconda, rock pythons, um, the uh, Indian python, which um, is a, a subspecies of the Burmese python, or it's actually specific now, blah, blah, blah. We don't want to get into the nomenclature. Um, but then what else? Uh, reticulated python and um, Nile monitors, all those oh, animals. Those the tegus. Tegus now, green iguanas. They've all been now put into one designation. So when I would apply for my permit, I would apply to the permits department uh, to get my class three and my class two for crocodilians. Uh, and I would get the permit for buttercup. Well, now I have to apply with a different permit to a different section of fish and wildlife. And on that permit, um, there's nothing that says 
that I can check off. In other words, I am not a nuisance trapper. I can't, I don't want to kill these animals. I, that's not something I want to do. Um, and as far as being an exhibit, for years, I've been able to have my permit because my commercial activity, you have to be a business. Yeah. And our commercial activity is YouTube videos. Yeah. Um, and the, the commission, Florida Wildlife Commission, has always recognized uh, what I did and what you do as a form of income. We are using the animals for education. Um, they are, in a sense, on display when I do videos. But the new nature of the law says that I need a place with regular business hours where people can come in and they can view uh, this animal. Uh, and if your public facility is at your place of residence, you will not be given a permit. So after 90 days, Buttercup, I'll have to either surrender her to a facility that can take her, which I can tell you there is none. No one is going to take an albino berm. There is no zoo that wants these animals. Um, there's no sanctuaries that want these animals. In fact, if you do give them to a sanctuary, the reality is this animal will be euthanized. And that's what's going to happen to Princess Buttercup if I cannot figure this out. If we cannot get this law amended uh, so that they recognize what we do here on YouTube as this is 21st century learning, man. I know you guys appreciate what I do. Um, I'm really thankful for you guys. I know you guys love Chandler's channel. So many of you have always asked for us to do collaborations. You know, we, yeah. we're going to be doing a little bit more of that, I would imagine, uh, because he, like me, uh, loves his animals, gives you good information, uh, does it in a fun and entertaining way. And uh, that's kind of what we need. We need people like us and like you out there that want to consume this kind of content uh, so here's what's going on. Um, there is an organization and I'm going to be asking for your help, uh, to work with these guys. It's USA Ark Florida. So if you type in USA Ark FL dot ORG, um, it'll bring you to a page where you can actually help us out. Now, why would some of you who live maybe in other parts of the country want to help us out in Florida? Because they want to see us succeed with our facilities. I know you have the goal of having a facility in the future. Right. I have a goal of having a facility in the future. And with some of these new rule changes, when these animals eventually do pass away, we're not allowed to get more animals. Like, for example, I got two green anacondas. I'm raising them up. They live 20 to 30 years. Eventually in the future, they will pass away of old age. What am I supposed to do after that? I can't get any more green anacondas. A lot of these laws changing are going to really affect educational facilities, not just private community, but the community that's trying to reach out and educate you guys and really bring wildlife up close for you to see with these exhibits. So it's really sad that we're going to be so restricted that in the future, our number of animals will be limited and they'll go after everything in the yeah, future. They're that's, just slowly nitpicking. And that's what I was going to get into, guys. It's not just about what's happening in Florida. Um, your leopard geckos, your iguanas that you may be keeping in Anything Pennsylvania, exotic. everywhere. across. This is going to be felt across the country because guess what? The majority of people that produce these animals live in Florida and they supply, um, you know, other pet yeah. chains and so on where you can get these animals and have a pet. I am not against owning pets. I never have been. It's how we got into it. It's exactly how we got into it. It's how we got into conservation. Um, it is the gateway. And with channels like ours where we teach you how to do things right where you get to see these animals up close uh and personal and let's not let's be real it's a covid world now um you're not going to zoos you guys are stuck at home how else are you going to be able to learn about these animals um it's it's really going to send reverberations throughout the industry um but what i wanted to say also guys is if these this if they keep going after these animals Okay, like I get it. Not, I, I've often said not everyone should have a Burmese python. But don't you think it's kind of crazy that now after 90 days, I am now considered a criminal after having this animal for years. Seven it's, years, right? Seven years. Seven years you've been uh, permitted to own this animal. And, and, and you haven't gone. proven yourself to be able to take care of it properly. 
Well, well, I'm trying. Well, you know, it took me a little while to build this. This is the Python enclosure I've seen at a private facility. It's just, it's just come out of nowhere. But more importantly, this does affect you guys because um, what goes, as it happens in Florida, it will be felt in other parts of the country. And I know you guys are passionate about your animals, and that's why I'm asking you guys to do me the favor, and Chandler, we're both asking it here. Go to usaarcflorida.org and donate. I mean, guys, I know I've asked you to donate before. I know some of you probably get annoyed and think that we're panhandling or whatever, but this is important because this affects all of us. There are 1.9 million reptile keepers in the state of Florida alone. If you guys all band together and gave us a dollar, 50 cents, that is a major, major, uh, you know, uh, windfall for USA Arc Florida because they are, they are planning to kind of fight against this kind of legislation. They fight for our rights. They're, they own these animals. Exactly right. They're, they're good people. They know, they, they fight for the ethical keeping of reptiles. And, and I want you guys to know this. I spoke with one of the folks that works on the board there. No one in USA Florida is taking a salary. They are not, they are not um, taking any of that money to pay for hotels or gas uh, to these meetings with FWC. What they're actually doing is they are uh, doing this out of their own love of these animals. And guess what? Many of them don't even own iguanas or Burmese pythons. They are just uh, professionals that know that this is kind of an unfair situation. And again, I want to reiterate, I do not want to see these animals in the, um, in the environment. They don't belong there. Of course. But they're, I would even say, you know, gently phasing big snakes out. I get it. I can see the reasoning behind it. These are not a pet for everybody. But to make good people, that have had these animals for a long time. My thumb is in the cage. Oh, that's okay. What's going on? As I'm talking about this serious stuff I right here, there's a little. To I was like, "What is that noise?" There's there's some noise here, um, and it's good that I show you this because, um, you know, today it's it's Burmese pythons and green anacondas, but tomorrow it's maybe no non-native animals in the state of Florida. And you think I'm being crazy or hyperbolic, but I'm not. South American species. Uh, that's it. Why not? Why not ban a South American species, a potential threat for the Everglades? It's it's just too much, man. So can we talk about yellow anacondas for a second? Yeah, talk to. I know you're passionate about yellow them. anacondas. Are a good point to make in this conversation. Yellow anacondas. Uh, there was a big meeting. They were going to ban yellow anacondas, and there was a big meeting to see what the people thought about it. Everyone spoke against it. They said, No, there's no reason to ban yellow anacondas. There's no breeding population in the Everglades. That's not a thing. They ended up agreeing not to ban it and then a month or two months later out of nowhere ban with yeah. no one's approval ban they didn't say anything to anyone and guess what i have three yellow anacondas the purpose for them is to have them on exhibit for educational use now i'm being told i can't even have them on display for the public they have to be in a private room so that's what i'm dealing with right now they ban the yellow anacondas they're they're no longer allowed to be sold i can't keep them together i can't breed them and when they die i will not be able to get any more yellow anacondas i can never use them as an educational ambassador again that will apply to all the reptiles they ban iguanas tegus reticulated pythons and eventually they'll go after venomous snakes they'll go after everything yeah how am I supposed to educate the public? How is Kenan supposed to educate the public if we don't have educational ambassadors? If we're trying to do conservation work, breed endangered species, we need the ability to get the endangered species and get new bloodlines and continue our work. We're trying to do good work here, conservation work, education through conservation. It, I mean, it's true. It's, 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 so it's frustrating, you know, because um, again, like, I think what's happened is because there's um, because it's a snake, it's a large snake. It makes the news. It's in the Everglades. It makes the headlines. It makes the headlines that you know they're so fed up with it. Because let's be honest, there are keepers out there. There are people out there that should never have had these animals, Agreed. and and they have done the wrong thing, and it's hurt all of us. Um, so they're making these blanket no big snakes in Florida, no venomous anymore, no this, no that, um, and that's what hurts us. So. You know, I, I always see the, the folks are very passionate on social media, you yeah. know, on the comment sections and like they get real riled up, us reptile people. I need you guys to stop getting riled up with just, you know, emotions and I need you guys to go a step further. If you guys could go to myfwc.com and there are sections there where you can leave comments about your opinions about these rules. I need you guys to all go there and you need to be respectful 
uh, we need to be adults about this. We need to let people know that uh, these animals are more than just scary, dangerous animals. These are our passion uh, that we want to protect. Um, so if you guys could make your opinions felt um, on these forums that FWC gives us uh, on their website, send emails. It's very important. And of course, please go to USA Arc, uh, FL, dot um, org and uh, donate what you can because they are absolutely going to fight this legislation um, the, to the best of their abilities. They want to make sure that they don't kind of sneak things in like that. The um, Yellow Anaconda Well, thing the, the, the pythons, example. I didn't even realize they were, I did not know. It was originally about tegus and iguanas. It was tegus and iguanas and all of a sudden now they the added, python. They right. Just, out of nowhere. And, added a and, more and you know what, it would have been, I get it guys, I get it. Not a lot of people have these animals, but I know you enjoy Buttercup. I know you know how much I love this animal. And look what I've built for. And now after 90 days, I don't know what's gonna happen. I, I may have to kill someone, uh, something, someone that's been in my family for seven years that I, I love and I can't even imagine having to put a needle in this animal uh, for no other reason other than I can't get the right permit. It just seems, it just seems ridiculous. So, you know, that's what hurts. That's why I'm here right now. That's why I wanted Chandler here because I know you guys love his channel as well. And I think if you heard it from both of us, I know you've done videos on this. Yeah, I have a, my video is going to be coming out in a couple, I don't know when this video is coming out. This will be out on, uh, this is going to be out today, which is Sunday. Okay. Uh, oh, so, okay. All right. Well, which video, is fine. But where I spoke video. about it, I filmed last night and I got several videos stocked up. Cool. So it's coming out on Monday. Right. But I... Basically. It doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't even matter. You know we film these videos yeah, yeah. on different days as our schedule. Anyways, are. the point is we're trying to let you guys know that there are some laws being changed in here in the state of Florida, some unfair, unjust laws, and it's going to really ruin the way that we bring animals to you guys, and we want to fight this. Because if we're quiet about it, they're just going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing and take everything. Anything exotic will be on the list, will be on that target list. Yeah. And like, like you said, we have been friends with fishing game. Yes, our whole careers. Uh, it, exactly. It, you've been working with wildlife living down here in Florida for how long? For uh, 16 years now. I, so I mean, I'm 22. I grew up down here. I yeah. started working in the industry when I was 13. I've worked with Florida Fish and Wildlife. Cooperated with them. Some of my good friends are Florida Fish and Wildlife officers. Right. I love the Florida Fish and Wildlife, but we all need to work together and we all need to come to an understanding that exactly. we can agree upon. Even that they realize that what we do, guys, let them know when you when you go to FWC, um, myfwc, um, I believe it's .com. Check that out, Google it. We'll have a link, how about? There's gonna be a link below. Um, I'll make sure Tom gets on that. Um, but when you, uh, when you write to them, let them know that like, hey, look, some of, we get our education online. Um, these guys are really trying to do a service for us. So if you could let them know that YouTube is a, a place where you get information and you get to see these animals and live vicariously through us and the adventures we bring you on, that would mean a lot for Chandra and I, and I know Tyler would appreciate yeah. it as well. Um, our group of guys, we just want to continue doing what we love. That's it. I don't want to leave Florida. I grew up here. <laughs> Kenan doesn't want to leave I can't Florida. Leave he Florida. loves it here. He's established himself here. But more importantly, guys, um, your voices will be heard and you can save these animals uh, that you've come to know over the years. Um, I know it's not fluffy and it, we don't have the In the Hearts of an Angel song from Sarah McLaughlin uh, playing right now. That's the cutest damn snake I've ever seen. It is, look at her, her I name is I mean, look at her. Um, so I would hate to have to kill my snake because that's, after 90 days guys, that's the only alternative. I don't know what's gonna happen. She's a good girl. You're just starting a little bit. No, she's a Anyway, guys, we talked for a while now. I know this video is a little bit more serious, um, but I hope you guys understand that we're serious about our animals, keeping you guys informed, keeping you entertained, but more importantly, keeping you guys close to these animals that you love. Um, so for myself, for Chandler, uh, thanks for spending some time with us here today. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Please check out the links in the description. Please. Please. If you can give a dollar, 50 cents, 25 cents, it does not matter. It is going directly to helping the animals. We're not getting a cent. The people doing the fighting aren't getting a cent. Thank you. We love you, YouTube.